We are thrilled to introduce you to the Container Store's brand new Vendor Scorecard. And even more exciting, you can access your scorecard 24-7 through VendorLink. That's right, you can see current compliance information anytime you want. Our scorecard was developed in-house, allowing us to provide you with compliance metrics that are directly outlined in our compliance guide. Also, we will have chapters and think you will find it helpful if you need to revisit a certain section. Our training will walk you through the scorecard explaining the different sections as well as how to drill down for more specifics as it relates to your score. You should find it very easy to use and be able to quickly pinpoint both the areas in which you are doing well as well as any areas in need of improvement. To get to the scorecard, simply go to Vendor Link and go to Reports drop-down and you will find it there. This video can be found under Resources. Let's start at the top of the scorecard, which is called the header. Along the top of the scorecard is a small section with a time frame for data on this scorecard, a selector which allows you to toggle from the scorecard to the glossary, as well as a drop-down menu for selecting all shipping locations, shown as all sites, or narrowing down to a specific shipping location. For our vendors who have more than one site, you can view the performance of each site individually. In the blue bar, you will find your overall score on a scale of 0 to 100 with award thresholds at 95, 98, and 100. And the arrows below the bar show you how your score is trending to the previous three months. In the middle of the header, you will find the PO count, number of units shipped, active SKU count, your buyer, and your rank in your peer group. Your peer group consists of vendors with a similar number of shipments to you for the time frame shown on the scorecard. In addition to your rank, we've included the best and worst score in your peer group so you can see where you fall. Please be aware your peer group can change throughout the year based on the number of shipments we receive in the time frame. We are currently looking at a three-month time frame, the three most recently completed calendar months. However, in November, we plan to expand this to a six-month view. At the right side of the header, you will see a bar chart. There is a bar for each month and the bars grow vertically based on the number of POs which arrived within that month. The yellow line represents the number of units received on those POs. Below the header, there are three main categories, PO accuracy, product quality, and efficiency rating, each represented with their own horizontal section laid out similar to the header. Each category has four to five metrics which roll up to a total category score, represented with the blue bar on the left side. PO accuracy is comprised of metrics focused around timely and accurate completion of the PO, ASN, and shipment information. Product quality focuses on metrics relating to the physical quality and accuracy of the product and packaging, such as ticket placement and legal compliance, for example, country of origin, or Proposition 65 labeling when applicable. Efficiency rating relates to the ease of processing a shipment, taking into consideration complete carton markings, properly loaded pallets, and accuracy in regards to packaging quantity. You can use the previously mentioned selector at the top of the scorecard to view a glossary that will give you more information about each metric. In the middle of each category, there is a table which shows the quantity of violations and the percentage of POs with violations for each metric. You will have access to more details about the metrics within each category, including which POs or SKUs had a violation. To the right are charts which once again show how many POs were shipped by month in that time frame. The red line represents the percent of POs with a violation. Ideally, you do not see this line go up, as that would indicate a trend of increasing violations over each month. Above each chart is a drop-down box, so you can change the data from looking at the total category to looking at each metric individually. This is useful if you want to focus on a particular area. The number at the base of each bar represents the number of POs shipped that month, and by hovering over the red dot on each line, you can see the exact value percent for the violation. Within each category is an I button next to the word metric. Clicking on this will give you the details about each violation with specifics on exactly what the violation was and which PO or SKU had the issue. The top section has the same information and charts for the category selected that is represented on the main page. The button bar selector in the middle of the page allows you to jump between the four to five metrics for the selected category. 
In the table, you will see a row for each PO and, when applicable, each SKU with a violation indicated by a red dot. Glancing at the red dots under the submetric allows you to quickly identify the source of the violations and a potential area of focus. It may be necessary to scroll up and down or left and right to view all the data. Along the bottom is a summary row with the total number of violations for each submetric. By clicking on the browser's X or Close button, you can return to the main scorecard. Finally, we have included a glossary in the scorecard that explains several topics in detail, many of which are also covered in this video. You can use the Topic drop-down menu to navigate between the following topics. Scorecard header, PO accuracy, product quality, efficiency rating, metric graphs, and detail reports. Each topic features definitions of metrics with a detailed explanation of what they represent, which should provide a better understanding of how each metric is scored. And you may be wondering about future enhancements. In our Phase 2 execution, we will have images of the violations, as well as a way to pool specific timeframes. In summary, we believe our vendors are the key to our success as a company. We want you to be our number one vendor. With our instant feedback to PO performance and ability to see details through your scorecard, we think we can get there. If there are any questions regarding your scorecard, you can contact your buying team or our vendor and product compliance manager, Jane Falarowitz. We are happy to help and really look forward to growing our company and our business with you. Thank you for your time and interest to learn more about our brand new scorecard.